go ahead and dump uh, the rest of this in, about two gallons, and I'm going to use a little Scotty. Now my pressure's dropped way off, and I'm just guessing at this because I'm out about 200 feet of hose. So, uh, but here again, look at that torch. You can't see it at all, but watch the flammability of this. I don't even get to the pan. And old Willie there, he got a little warm. And this stuff burns extremely hot when that little Scotty hits that pan. I mean, it's just frying that foam. So we're probably getting about a quarter to a half a percent mixture coming out of there. So it's going to take a little bit longer to knock it down than it would if I had a a 1% uh, or a 3%. Your 3% is going to cover it a lot quicker. But the 1% uh, to me looks like it's doing fairly efficient. I wanted to look on the backboard to see how much foam I was getting because of the reduced pressure. But again, I'm just mixing it around, trying to get the foam in there good, mixing that surfactant with that fuel. Uh, while you're disturbing that and trying to get it uh, emulsified, you're going to get some, some flame out of there. But notice on the front of that pan where I hit that, that's, that's extremely hot just in that small amount of time that it burns. So anytime you've got a fire burning with, uh, without uh, your smoke or your carbons, uh, you don't have that shielding that you normally have from a, a diesel or a gasoline. So these are going to burn a lot hotter. And because I'm getting such a small amount out of there, I'm going to run it a little bit longer to be sure that I get a, a good mixture in there. But again, you can see when I hit the metal that I've got a very small amount coming out of there. So anytime you're running off of your engines or whatever, you should have plenty of pressure which will give you lots of knockdown power. Again, like I said earlier, I wanted to just do this with minimum uh, capabilities so that you guys are assured whenever you go up against something and you've got just your uh, standard uh, pumping capacities and hoses that you should be able to handle it fairly easily. Again, you can notice that it's very little foam coming out of there. Very small amount of pressure. Microblaze does have a fairly decent cooling capability on hot steels. Um, once you can see that foam stick to it, you'll know that it's cool enough that you could put your bare hand on it, not that you would do it, always keep your protective equipment on, but uh, this product works very well in knocking the heat down, especially on automobiles and things like that that you're going to have to work with. I'm going to pull my glove off and just stick my hand up there just to let, let you have a see. Again, we're going to get the torch and bring it over there. It's very difficult to see that thing burning. I had to bring it up close a couple of times so that I could even see that it was burning. <laughs> 